back. Mark Fidget here with notapennydown.com. I'm here in downtown Vancouver at one of the largest trustees in BC, Sands and Associates, and I'm here with the Vice President, Blair Manton, Consumer Choice Award, by the way, and we're starting a 10-part series on the myths of bankruptcy. So, Blair, thanks for joining me and coming That's in right. and asking me to come in today. And today's first myth is everyone will know. So maybe if you could talk to us about that a little bit. Yeah, sure. So, Mark, that's probably the number one thing, the reason why people hesitate to even come in and see a trustee, let alone contemplate the process of bankruptcy, is that they've seen that notice in the newspaper and they don't want their name there. Right. So. The way I would explain it is in terms of a proportion of clients that I see, it's not 1% of the time do I have to do a newspaper notice. It's not 0.1%. It's probably one client this year I had to do a newspaper notice. For the vast majority of people, it's a very private process. It's between yourself, the people you owe money to, because I have to notify them, obviously, that, that you're not going to be able to pay them. Right. Um, myself is your trustee, and then the legal system that helps me administer the file. So there's no nobody's going to visit your house, put a red tag on the door, or talk to your neighbors. Um, the notice in the newspaper is exceedingly rare. So if that's your hesitation, if you're worried that people are going to know they're essentially they're only going to know if you tell them about your process in general right. it's pretty private I know and there's this fallacy that people think you know you're walking down the street there's like a label on your forehead saying I declared bankruptcy yeah. and I know you talked about the newspaper I've never even seen one myself so it's right. probably like you say the very small uh, percentage mm -hmm. um, one of the things I always tell my clients is really nobody knows but it is on the credit bureau so right. yep. one of the big things about bankruptcy as you know is coming up with the story like really being prepared to tell your story because there's always a life event that uh, sort of surrounds mm -hmm. bankruptcy and maybe just talk a little bit about what your experience is what you hear Mm -hmm. So that people know, you know, this is normal. This is this happens in life. Yeah, you know, it's more than a hundred thousand cases a year. Does someone in Canada have to go bankrupt or do a consumer proposal? And from my experience, in the vast majority of cases, it's the life events. You know, it's relationship breakdown, it's job loss, it's medical issues that cause you to be unable to work. You know, it's something something basically happens, some external right. shock to the system. Divorce. Yeah, no, exactly. That that's a big right, one. Right. Um, so a lot of people, you know, they they tend to think, okay, people that go, go into bankruptcy, it's because they've abused their credit, they live frivolously. That's such a small percentage, and the system really is set up so that those folks don't profit from, from, right, right, right. Uh, from misusing it. But um, again, it's for the honest but unfortunate person that finds themselves in a tough situation. So for the uh, viewers out there, if they do think that this is something that may fit their criteria, mm -hmm. Come in, free consultation, sit mm -hmm. down with you. Yeah, so with Sands and Associates, we have 10 offices from Vancouver to Chilliwack. Each year we help more clients in BC than any other firm. So this is all that we do. It's individuals who are facing debt problems. Come in for a free confidential consultation and we'll help you understand what you can do. Right on. Thanks, Blair. Thank Appreciate you. you having me in. <laughs>